Sustainability at Moldova University, Vienna. Hi, I'm Davis Gibbs, and I'm a lecturer here at MU, and also a member of the Sustainability Committee. Today, I'm going to introduce you to some of the sustainability-related values that we share here at MU. So what are we talking about? As you approach the university, you'll see the university's five core values written in a variety of languages on the building, as in the picture to the left. Today I'm going to explain the last of these to you, stewardship, or serving as an ambassador of sustainable and responsible living, which as you will see incorporates elements from all of the other values. So what is sustainability? Let's start with the big picture. Where are you from? I'm from the United States. But this is Earth, and we're all from Earth, and it is the only place we know of which can support human life. We all come from different places, but we all live on planet Earth. And while we can change our neighborhood, city, country, we cannot really change the planet we inhabit. We may be able to travel to other places in small numbers, but moving a large population to another planet is just not a possibility in the foreseeable future. Sorry, science fiction fans, you may be disappointed. But if we want to survive as a species, we have to do it on Earth. Sustainability literally means to keep something going indefinitely. So how do the prospects of humans surviving on Earth look? Earth supports an incredible diversity of life forms in a huge range of different habitats, from the very tiny to the very large, and the very beautiful to the absolutely hideous. We know that these life forms do not simply rely on their environment for survival. They actively create the conditions necessary to support life. Life on Earth is enabled through the interaction of a huge number of dynamic systems like these working together in a careful balance. Unfortunately, over the past 100 years, human activity has upset that delicate balance. And the world economy has become too large for the planet which enables us to live. The essence of the problem is that the scale of human activity has grown larger than that which ecological systems can support. As economies around the world have grown, it is not just money and jobs that have increased. We have been doing more work, digging up, processing more, growing more, consuming more, and in the end, producing more waste. But Earth is limited. It is limited in the total amount of matter and the quantity of various minerals it contains. It is limited in the amount of thermal energy it receives from the sun and the amount of biomass or vegetation it can produce and also the amount of pollution that it can assimilate. The world economy, the flow of resources through our economic systems, has become too large for the planet which enables us to live. Exceeding planetary limits also has a number of impacts on different levels. The social, environmental, and economic levels are impacted by exceeding planetary limits. More and more people suffer from consequences due to economic growth at all costs. We are creating more pollution than Earth can assimilate, which means that we are changing the chemical composition of the atmosphere, of soils, and of oceans, thereby reducing the Earth's productive capacity. This has resulted in climate, which is the warming of the climate and the changing of water cycles thereby reducing the planet's capability to produce food. Additionally, the acidification of the ocean has reduced the planet's capability to support fish stocks. When we exceed the planetary limits, as we are currently doing, we deplete the planet's capital. That means the planet is becoming ever less able to provide for people and other species. We need a change of approach. Sustainability is well summarized by a quote from a 1987 report called Our Common Future that states that sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. 
So, sustainability is not only about environmental impact. It also addresses the social and economic responsibility of actors and of stakeholders to guarantee a responsible and sustainable future. This all brings me back to Muldool's core value of stewardship. Stewardship is an ethic that embodies the responsible planning and management of resources. In particular, we are talking about responsible action as being that which preserves environmental integrity and respects the interests of other people and animals according to the principles of fairness and equity. As students at Muldool University and members of the Muldool University community, but also in your personal lives, we expect you to apply these principles in everything that you do. So what can you do? Question everything. Question economic growth and population size. Question consumption on an individual and collective scale. Question what is fair and just. Inform yourself about the impacts of your actions. And take responsibility. The changes we need to make are up to you as much as they are anyone else. Actually, our responsibility is greater than most other people because we are lucky enough to live in an affluent country with a high quality of life. And this means that we should lead by example. We should use our actions and our words to positively influence others. More concretely, you should attempt to reduce your consumption Reduce your energy, water, minerals, land, goods, and services consumption. I'm quite sure that if you calculate your ecological footprint, you will find out that you currently use more of the earth than the two hectares which is available per person, meaning we need to reduce our impact. Choose lower impact consumption. Choose responsible retailers. Reuse products and recycle. But it is especially important to consider your diet and your modes of transportation. Be active at the university. When you see something that violates these principles, say something. Say something to your lecturer, to your mentor, your dean, or even to me. Develop your ideas on how to make the university more sustainable by submitting for the Scholarship of Hope, which we do each year in April. Details can be found on our website. You can potentially win scholarship funding. Join the university's sustainability committee to work with other students and faculty who are committed to increasing the university's positive impacts and minimizing its negative impacts. We meet around once a month and organize events to raise awareness of particular issues, such as movie nights and sustainability weeks dedicated to relevant themes. We also discuss university policies and develop proposals to improve the welfare of students and faculty, while at the same time aiming to minimize the university's environmental impacts. Finally, we measure the acts of the university and produce the university's sustainability report, which will be available to you soon. If these activities seem interesting to you, Please contact the Sustainability Committee at the email address you see here. We would love to hear from you. And again, thank you for your attention.